Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you are here. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by and visiting me on my channel. And today we are going to make an awesome, awesome crafts. It's from Recycled Stuff. And it'll be a magazine for today. We are going to make a miniature or something little tree from this magazine a christmas tree all right so this would be awesome for like a centerpiece on your table or on your corner table either way wherever you want to put it it's it's you who decide but yeah this is what we're going to make from the magazine all right this is what we're going to do from the recycled magazine we are going to use this and we can make it and yeah, if you have a magazine, go grab it right now and let's get started. All right, so with this particular or with this project that we are going to use, the main one in here, it should be the magazines. All right, so... If you have some magazines or some anything that you can recycle or some stuff or some sorts, this is the one that I use. Yep, I got that. And garland, I got this from the Dollar Tree. This one as well from the Dollar Tree. And of course the mini bows. This is what we're going to use for our project and I got this one from the Goodwill this is the, the one that separately I got from the Goodwill they have some uh, on the craft area they have this one so why not grab it you know it's just only two dollars and there's tons in here it's like there's purple and everything and yeah I think I'm going to use the red one this time so these are the ones that we are going to use and of course don't forget your glue gun and yeah you need this one i got this from the family dollar i think and it's a dollar the snow spray and for our tree color i choose this so i got this from the walmart so it's like three dollars something so you can choose either way you can even just leave it like a magazine color or just leave it like that but i choose this one for now all right so let's get started okay so now i'm going to pick which magazine that i'm going to use i'm thinking i might have to use this this one this one might be the one with this magazine all you have to do is you just have to estimate like half of them you will know it when why do we need this cut in half okay so let's cut this in half you can use a cutter or a scissors if you want to but i want them to be cut in half and you will understand why do we have to cut them in half the reason is when you fold this one and then if it's all the way are folded and it's going to be hard for them to connect in the middle so that's why i usually cut them in half so there you go you save the half because you're going to use that too and you are going to use this one of course all right so with this magazine all you have to do is you kind of in this corner you fold it downward just like that and then this corner is going to be in this end right there you just have to make them meet at that area if you can see what i'm talking about see you just have to make them meet and there are just some magazine that is so hard to this one is like easy estimation if you have this kind of magazine um, size or the length or the width with the width on it it's just so easy so just do it like that so it's even at the bottom right here so they are all even and you don't have to cut it once you already played on that pages okay so then what you can do is you can either glue it 
or you just want to leave it like that okay so when i reach this far when i finish the first page i usually make a mark because when you have a mark you already know where to fold so in this area is i like to mark where there is this angle of the triangle pointy so i use a sh sharpie i only use a sharpie you can use either pencil or a marker or any color that you want but i choose this black marker one so what i do is i just mark this pointy area so i will know that that would be my folds okay where i fold to the last end okay so then you can get started all right i'm going to start folding i'm going to make three and then after three i'm going to make this video faster so you can see just like that and you meet them like that and then fold them again just like so and then fold again and you just keep on folding the same way you can glue it if you want to but I'm not just I'm not going to glue and there you go and another more folds you just have to play around and then you just keep folding and then Fold again. Alright, so I'm going to continue. And as you can see, there's, you can see that tree side. There you go. And then you just have to keep on folding. I'm going to make this video faster while I'm folding, okay? So bear with me. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, guys. It is the better way that you cut them in half because once you are done in one page see as you can see it's looking half and if you are trying to force it to meet them in the middle like that it is going to be awkward and especially in the middle of your magazine okay so or the middle of your tree so it is so important that you cut them in half so once the other one is cut or done then you can just like put the other half on that side and put the other half on this other side so they just meet together so it's nice awesome round bottom tree okay so then let's continue the half page of our magazine and you do the same way and we have this one marked down here and you just have to keep on folding first fold let me put this one aside a little bit and then second fold and then because sometimes guess it's so nice when you have a marker because then you know where to fold second fold and then third fold I wasn't in that corner so I have to redo it again and then third fold
and that's the corner I want it's a little bit pointy okay and then you just keep on folding and then let's fold again first fold second fold and then third fold and you just keep it going okay okay so I'm almost done and this one just fall apart the first the last page of this magazine so I'm just gonna toss it away and let's just keep it going and I am almost done guys oh after this is I'm going to color it or spray it with my green color. Make sure guys that your spray or your color spray somehow are for outdoor or indoor. Okay, because you don't want those fumes ruin your lungs or someone get allergic or ruin their lungs. Especially when you have children, spray them outside your house if it's for outdoor spray, okay? And what I have is, the one that I have is outdoor spray. So I definitely need to go outside and spray this one. So I have to do that, okay? Now this one, since it's already done, I'm going to put this tree all together. Glue them together right through the spine of this magazine. See, as you can see, you just put them together just like so. And you have an awesome tree connection all right so if it goes like this if you do it one magazine all together like that it looks so awkward down here on the top so if you cut them in half the easier one because you can just get easily connect those area see how pretty page right there on the middle so always cut them in half okay so let's glue this together all right so it's time to glue our spine of our tree and to do that make sure that your tree is standing okay because if you put them flat it's kind of hard for me so if I make them lay down like this it's kind of hard for me it's okay too but it's just hard for me so what I did the easier one is I make my tree that I just folded or the magazine that I just folded I make them stand like so and I put a glue on the spine down here so from top be very very generous with your glue guys and don't be scared because even if there's so much glue in it you can always press it down and it'll be covered anyways on the other side of the tree okay so those are just the easier one if you just connect them like so just like that how they were connected at the bottom okay and then you can play around if you want to and press it down on the back just like that There you go, and they are all nice and even tree. And the secret one that I usually do, guys, is I always put a circle punch at the way bottom. I have this punched out, and I put this one at the bottom so the circle in there, like covered just like that, so they're even more nicer. Okay, so I always cover that up. Now, let's cover it. Be very, very generous as well. You can use a liquid glue in this one so you can work onto your folds of your magazine. But what I did is I just let it upside down like so and put my circle punched in there and then I just press it down so it holds the folds of my tree, okay? And they're just steady. There you go. Now they are in their spots where it's supposed to 
be. You can leave it like that. It's super pretty already. And just because of the theme, we're going to make a Christmas tree. I'm going to print this one or color this outside. And bear with me, okay? And yeah, I don't put so much of a um, white snow something, but I just want something like a little bit of blend in, in there. That at least there's some snow looking, kind of cool looking. But yeah, it's super cute, you guys. I'll show you later when it's all done. And right now we are going to decorate it. So remember I showed you guys earlier, I got this one from the... Goodwill and I got this for two bucks Cool, huh? And let's use this to decorate our And next I'm going to use this and this is from the dollar store and I'm going to put this garland everywhere Okay so, bear with me. Ooh, super pretty! And I got this one from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to put this one at the top of these. So, it'll be super. I'm trying to make this wire more folded so it's not going to be showing everywhere so let me put that in there put more glue let it sit in there for a little bit so it holds oh i'm so excited super pretty guys you can even leave it just like that if you want to but I am going to put some more on mine, okay? So bear with me, all right? So with this, I'm going to put, I think, I hope it will help this mini boost. This is also from the Dollar Tree. So here we go. So what I'm going to do with this one, I got this red and green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wire down here because it's the one that holds that ball of that sequence so i'm going to scoot this one down and i'm going to cut this off okay now let's decorate this one more and i will randomly put these bows everywhere i might put green in there and red everywhere So, what do you think, guys? I made this everything from the dollar store beside these ones. The, I can't remember the name of this one. <laughs> I don't know. This one. This are from the Goodwill, okay? So, like most majority that I use here are from the dollar store. And yes, guys, I'm going to show you something. I made a silver color as well and it is a snowflakes on the top with a foam scatter or vase filler this snowflakes is from foam scatter and the ball is from the vase filler see the foam scatter that's the one with the snowflakes in it so that's the one i use and the vase filler right here with that silver one and of course I also made the gold one and I also use the foam scatter in the gold one and the garland is also from the Dollar Tree and this one is what I use this little something and I got it also from Goodwill and if you see my video my previous one 
from my pumpkin one that I just uh, taught. Those are from the Goodwill as well. So, yes, everything are cheap, you guys. So if I can make it, you can make it too. And it's super nice and easy. And I will show you the video. that was awesome easy craft the hard one in there is when you're drying up your tree from spraying it or coloring it so that's the only one that it takes time so if you have patience like me do it and if you don't you still need to do it <laughs> so you have fun you know it's it's awesome when you make something awesome and then you can give it away or do whatever you want to do it, you know? So yeah, come back next time. We are going to make another awesome project or crafts or DIY. And yeah, thank you again for staying with me. You guys are awesome. And see you soon. Bye.